it is super easy to go real wrong with your social media marketing. So in this video, I'm going to tell you some things that you could be doing right now that's destroying what you're doing when it comes to your social media marketing. Hi, my name is Desiree, and if you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. Now, the number one thing that you are doing probably that's destroying your social networking and your social media and all of your onlining is you don't have a plan. So go get my free content planning worksheet that I have for you down in the description below. It's gonna walk you through how to easily get your content planning life together. First thing you need to do at the gate is make sure that you have set up your account correctly. Now this is going to be really important to not destroy all the progress that you're making with social media because you need to make sure that like you have all your branding in order, your profile picture makes sense, you have a way for people to communicate with you through your website, they know what you do, they know what you're about, they know the things that matter when it comes to being a business or a brand. And I also think that it's important to add a nice little caveat that you should make it consistent across the different social networks that you may or may not be using. When it comes to my social media, you can find me at Mrs. Desiree Rose everywhere. And I also almost always include my tag, helping you grow your business with better social media and content marketing. I use the same colors, I use the same profile picture, and you can always get a hold of me at MrsDesireRose.com. It's important to have those things set up correctly because the whole point of doing this is to have a way for people to know who you are and how to connect with you. It baffles my mind that after all of the years of social media being around, people still are like, well, it's all about like making money, right? And doing business, right? It's gotta be sell, 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 right? And while I am 100% camp, like we're here to make money, there's a really scammy, terrible way to do this, and there's the right way to do this. So remember, social media is about engaging and giving value, not selling your product and shoving it down people's throats. That's the fastest way for an algorithm to kick you off of people's feeds and for people to be incredibly uninterested in what you have to offer. So remember, engage versus sell. Now, one of the things that's really important is you have to be consistent. A big killer for your account is not posting regularly. These social networks need to know they can count on you, just like your audience needs to know they can count on you. So if you're inconsistent, if you're just posting randomly whenever you think about it, or even worse, when like you're like, ah, I need to sell something that's gonna not work for you. So have a plan for posting on a regular, consistent basis. And as a bonus tip, use your Facebook insights as a way to tell you when you should be posting and what content is performing best for you. Now, it can be really easy to think that because of what you do, everybody needs it. When in fact, it's probably the worst thing that you could do in marketing is it's killing your sales. You're not talking to someone very specific. Well, everyone needs insurance as long as they have a car or renting a home or own a home, you might be able to better service a very specific demographic. Like maybe you just work with millennials. Maybe you just work with first time home buyers. Maybe you like to work with people under 30 because you like to educate people about insurance and better driving tactics. Whatever that may be, if you know exactly who you're talking to, you're gonna be able to create content that they care about and get that better conversion and create quality content versus just trying to sell to everybody, which means you're essentially gonna sell to nobody. Now, it's very easy in marketing to just have like this one-way conversation. Like, I'm gonna project onto you everything that I need you to do and buy from me and just you know expect that money to be in like our conversations are done. No, you need to be engaging with your customers. If you're not talking with people, if you're not having a two-part conversation, if you're not outreaching, like finding conversations to be a part of, like what's the point? It's called social media, not let me talk at you media. So make sure you have taken a time to respond to comments, get into messages, join those groups, comment on other people's things. Find a way to make it a two-way conversation that makes sense for your schedule and for your consistency. Not knowing how something works is one of the most frustrating things about life. Like there are so many things that I don't get and I have to entrust in experts to know how to make them work. But when it comes to my business, when it comes to the growth and making sure that what I'm doing is working, I need to understand how these social networks work. So if you're not taking the time to figure out how Facebook, how Instagram, how YouTube, how LinkedIn, figuring out how their algorithms work, like how you should be doing things and what you should be doing for best practices, it's gonna kill your success on these social networks. So take the time to 
dive into one social network at a time and figure out how to be the master of it. Understand the algorithm, understand how it works, understand what the best practices are. By doing these things, it's gonna give you a better track for success versus just shooting in the dark and hoping that something works. Now, what's really great about these social networks is they're always trying to find ways for the users to have a better, more engaging, and more fun experience that keeps them coming back. So what you need to make sure that you're doing is experimenting. I know you hate trying new things because what if they don't work, right? Like that's like the worst thing ever. What if something I've done and put all of this time and effort into doesn't work? Well, to correct that, you need to do the testing to see if it is, because what if it does? If you don't test and try out new features, you're gonna fall on your face and get really behind on what's working for you. Now, there's a lot of social networks out there. There's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, all of the things, all the TikTokies, all of the doings of the stuff. Pick one, focus, get really laser good at it. And then once you feel confident in what you're doing there, then you can expand. Now, as the bonus tip for you in this, you wanna make sure that you have claimed all of these social networks, like you wanna own the usernames for them, but focus on one that you can build and understand best and then go from there. Now, I think that this kind of goes without saying, but you need to make sure that you are having a conversation where it's about the person that you're helping. It's about your viewer. It's about your customer. It's about your follower. It's so easy to get on social media and play the narcissistic me, me, me game. Like, look how awesome I am. Look at all these great things I'm doing. Don't do that. Remember, you are guiding someone on a journey to help them through their struggles, to help solve a problem that they have, and hopefully you are the person that they go to to solve that problem. So make sure that you're making it about your follower and not yourself. Now, when it comes to social media marketing, you might need a little bit of help. So I want you to watch this video right here about what you should look for in a social media marketing manager. And hey, watch this video right here because YouTube thinks that you are really gonna like it. And until next time, I'll see you soon.